Hi guys, <clears throat> we mentioned in our previous video about extending the experience of truffles. So unfortunately, there aren't any truffles around at the moment. Um, so you're not going to have truffle or truffle butter is what we're going to talk about. You won't have it for this Mother's Day, but hopefully, um, if you're playing, you can have it for next Mother's Day. We've talked about truffle butter in the past, but we actually haven't gone into the detail of making it and the ingredients we use. So that's it's great gonna... because it preserves the complexity, the whole complexity of all of the compounds that are in truffles in the, in the butter and you can enjoy them because we've got them in the freezer. So you, you can freeze um, truffle butter. Um, some people say six months, we certainly don't have a problem 12 months out. So we've talked to you about truffle butter before, but we've not, never talked about the recipe. And this recipe we found um, from a chef, Julien, out at Viv Cooking School when he was there. He uh, took us through a class um, where he put it on a, he made it for us and put it on a Wagyu steak. I'll tell you what, it was the most magnificent uh, Wagyu steak that I've ever had. I haven't had one as good since. And I certainly haven't had one as good as that up until that moment. So um, that's a really high recommendation, but it really, really was a, a, a great meal. So the recipe goes something like this. The ingredients are 250 grams of butter, um, just plain butter. Salted we prefer. Some people use unsalted. Don't use a cultured butter. Cultured butter's got its own flavour. And uh, the truffle will certainly bring out the flavour of the, the cultured butter, but if you just want a, a pure truffle experience, plain butter's fine. So 250 grams of butter, um, a squeeze of lemon, an egg yolk, and the amount of truffle, I think, is a personal thing. We use 20 grams in that amount. So 20 grams of uh, fresh truffle. Some people use as little as 10. So it really is an experimentation thing, I think. So what we do with our butter is we uh, chop it up into squares, put it in a stand mixer and um, just uh, uh, mix it up and wait for it to go a light color. That's when it's aerated and you can start to incorporate new ingredients at that point. So the egg, um, uh, egg yolk goes in, truffle goes in, a squeeze of lemon, you're using a, f a fresh product with that egg, so please be aware, chefs won't use a, a raw product in a butter that you will eventually eat raw because of the risks involved. So make sure that you're getting your eggs from a trusted source and you shouldn't have a problem. So bring it all together and we put uh, our butter into these little cups. We also have uh, rolled it into a log and put it in cling wrap and put it in the freezer. We, not only for the purpose of um, experiencing it later on, this is the way we, uh, in most of our dishes that we use fresh, fresh, um, truffle, fresh truffle on as well. So this is a, a great thing to have all through the season, as well as to have way beyond the season. And as I said, it preserves the full complexity of your fresh truffles, not like those oils that are out there because they are artificial. Um, so be aware, you're not getting the complexity. We'll go into complexity a little bit later on. That rock star that I was talking about um, looked into the compounds and he discovered it was the first in Australia, first in the world, to look at the actual compounds and why truffles are so magnificent. And we'll be talking about him in a, in, a, in, a, in a few videos time. Have a good day, guys. Can hardly wait for the season to start. Cheers now.